morning, everyone. Good morning. It's so great to be back here in Australia. I was just here a few months ago, and uh, I've been traveling nonstop around the world, meeting with our uh, distributors and coming up with strategic plans for all the markets. And so, how many of you are excited about our new product launch? Well, it's funny, the other night I was having dinner with the staff and I was asking them how Reveal was doing here. And I learned a new term here in Australia, bum fuzz. What is that? <laughs> I asked how the <laughs> Reveal was going and uh, one of the members said, well, my husband has a ball spot and been using it and now they have bum fuzz on their ball spot. And I got really confused. I had to look it up and write it down, but it was a good joke at the time. But anyways, during my travels around the world, I've been around to each and every market, and I'm telling you, Jeunesse is growing. We had a record-breaking year last year. We're going to have another record-breaking this year. And so with your help, we're going to achieve that. Are you ready to go to the next step with your distributorship? Yeah. Well, to do that, I've told you guys before, you need a plan. You have to have a plan of action to take your distributorship to the next level. Do you have a plan? How many of you here have a plan to go to the next level? That's good. Do you want to know a secret? Yeah. I'll tell you a secret of how to go to the next level. You mimic these people right here in the front, Lyndon, Paula, Patrick, right? Watch what they do and duplicate it. They are very, very successful at what they do. As they travel around the world, their success is uncanny. They, they've been able to duplicate and grow their business over and over and over again. If you think this business is easy, you're mistaken. This business is very, very hard. And you're going to learn from these individuals. You're going to learn from the leaders. You're going to learn from Peter as they get up here and they talk about um, different leadership skills and way to develop your business. So I strongly urge you as you're here to take notes. You want to take notes and you want to take these notes back home with you when you leave here and create an action plan for you. So one of those notes that I want to make sure is that you have a list of people to contact. How many of you have a long laundry list of people to contact? Very few. Wow. I have heard through the different markets, it's so hard, Roy. It's so hard to come up with a list. Well, we're going to play a little game today. You guys want to play a game? Yeah. Okay, why don't we tear out a piece of paper? Get you a piece of paper. And the winner of this game gets a big surprise. I want you to start writing down people that you know that are not in Jeunesse as quickly as you possibly can. And then I'm going to go around the room real quick and jog your memory. Okay? So what about a school teacher? Anybody here know a school teacher? Right? Write down that school teacher's name. What about a firefighter? Right? What about a plumber? What about a mechanic? You see where I'm going with this? Start writing down these names. What about friends of friends? As a leader, when you're out and you're recruiting people, you want to help them jog their memory and create that list. So, as, so school teachers, we talked about school teachers, right? What about people that work at Uber right? or Grab? I met a lady last night, and she had a whole laundry list from all the Ubers that she had been taking, and she gets their name and number, and she goes, prospect dash Uber and their name. And she had like 15 people to call, and that was very exciting. So as you're out in the community, restaurant workers, there's another one, right? What else? Anybody else? What's an idea that you have? Hairdresser, that's another. Spas, that's another. What else do we have? Craig, what do you have? What? Personal trainer with the Zen workout, personal trainers. Okay, time's up. You have your list already? How many people have 20 or more names on their list? Raise your hand. No one. Wow. Okay, let's go back. How many people have 10 people on their name? 15. 16. Okay, we're going to give you a little more time then, if that's all you've got. 
Huh? If you don't know someone, draw the person's image that you know who they are. <laughs> right? You have to know more people. Here's another secret. I can guarantee you if you take your phone out right now and you just scroll up during your contact list, there's going to be someone in your contact list that you have never presented the Jeunesse opportunity to. Scroll up in your phone and you will be surprised at how many contacts you have in your phone that you have never presented the opportunity or shared this amazing opportunity with these people. So, now, how many people, what was the number, 16? How many had 16 people on their list? 17? 17. 17 is the winner? Huh? How many do you have? Five? 25. Okay. 25 is the winner. So, 25, 26. I said time's up. How many, time, how many people you have? One, two, 26 people. All right. T Lyndon, how many people do you have? Lyndon doesn't even want to mention. He's got thousands of people to call. <laughs> so 26, congratulations. Look how easy that was. In just five minutes, we were able to come up. She was able to come up with 26 potential prospects to contact. People talk about this business being so hard, you can't think of people to contact, but you, were ju you just did it. You just did it. Most of you did five or ten people that quick. So as a leader, when you're sitting down with your new recruit, one of the most important things that you have to do as a leader is you have to sit down with them and spend at least 15 to 30 minutes with them and create them a list, create them a roadmap of what they want to do. So your action item with all of your list for this week is you're to go back and you're to contact each one of those individuals on your list and you're to present the opportunity of Janasse to them. Can you do that for me? Are you sure? Okay, it's, it's as simple as sharing a recommendation. You go out to a movie, right, and you'll share, you'll tell people how great this movie is. You'll go to a restaurant and you'll have dinner and you'll say how great the, the dinner is. But yet when it comes to presenting the Jeunesse opportunity, people get nervous about that. So you have to switch that mindset. It's all in your mindset. You're presenting an opportunity that has science-based products, a great compensation plan, an amazing management team, and it's the ability to make even more money. Um, so you're, you should be able to present this opportunity and be proud of Jeunesse to take you to the next level. So when you go back home this week, I want you to contact those individuals, give them the opportunity presentation, and work with your upline. Also, leadership. Leadership is so critical in our environment today. What I want all of us to do is I tell everybody a little secret that I've learned through the years is you need as leaders partner together. Australia is so big and so vast it is so hard to have uh, Discover Jeunesse opportunity meetings in all the different areas. But you're all from different areas throughout Australia and if you work together as a team then you can rotate uh, Discover Jeunesse opportunity meetings every single week in your own region. So partner up with your leaders in your own city and start having these opportunity presentations and do it over and over and over and over again. One thing the leaders will all tell you, consistency is the key to success. You have to follow a system, you have to be consistent, and if you do that, you will succeed in this business. So with that, I'll leave you. We, we have a great lineup today with some of the speakers. Take notes, take that information home, implement it, and have a great day. Thank you very much.